the upper light, the creator, created the desire. And the desire is controlled completely by the upper light. There's none else besides him. There's no one else to govern and do anything with the desire, and the desire cannot do anything because the upper light holds it within it all the time. There is not one part of the desire that can be free of the influence of the light, because if the light disappears, the desire disappears. The desire is a result of the light. And therefore, everything that the desire feels, it feels from the light. Everything it feels like it's reacting to something is all a result of the light. And this is creation, light and kli, vessel. The light is the first and the kli is its result its outcome. The desire was given a chance to know itself, what it wants, why it wants, for what, with what purposes, who governs it, operates it, how it can react instinctively because the desire always is, is always like that, whether it wants to or not. It is given a chance to seemingly see itself, seemingly uh, objectively from the side, from a side. And that way, maybe, to direct its reaction, besides the natural reaction to the light, to also create a reaction not according to the plan or to the program or to the approach that it has in it from the light, but in a different way, artificial, which doesn't come directly from the light, so that the desire can develop in this way and be seemingly independent to seemingly react indirectly but by way of uh, my sons defeated me as if against the light against the will to receive that awakens but according to a different desire a desire to bestow which on one hand is opposite from the intention of the light, the intention of the Creator, for the desire to behave seemingly on its own, independently. But afterwards, we see that, yes, it's the Creator's desire for the desire to acquire independence. And acquiring independence is actually the purpose of creating the desire and its development. The direct reaction of the desire to the light that exists in all of creation, still vegetative, animate, and speaking both spiritual and corporeal, the direct reaction is called a reaction or the, 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 the vitality of the desire. And that reaction is always... Uh, known in advance or understood in advance because the light that creates and changes a desire knows in advance how it will react. There is no creation here. Creation means something outside of the situation, something new. Creation begins with the desire being given a chance to, to react not instinctively, not naturally, not according to what it feels in the desire, but according to a different criterion, something else from a side. What can it be? To relate to the light, not the way it is governed, operated by the light but to relate to the light 
according to the importance of the light. Let's put it this way. It, it loves the light, not the, because the light created it and fills it in every form and every way that is pleasant to the desire, but it relates to the light because it is great, high, special, in, in terms of its qualities of bestowal and giving that belong only to the light, not to the desire. Meaning it loves the light because the light operates the opposite of the nature of the desire. It appreciates the light as the giver, the bestower, and for its ability to act outside of itself. The desire begins to appreciate this quality, meaning besides the light creating within the desire a desire to enjoy, and the desire feels the pleasure and enjoys it, it also receives from the light an understanding that the light delights it, fills it, tends to it, controls it correctly, in a, in, a, in a positive, good way. And it begins to appreciate this relation like a child who doesn't understand anything initially later begins to appreciate the parent's treatment of him because it begins to recognize their love for him, their concern, etc. And this is what he then begins to... So that's what the Kli begins to appreciate in the Creator and to relate to this. And the Creator, in order to bring the Kli to that degree of bestowal, it prevents it, it, it denies it direct pleasures and gives it a chance to satisfy itself and enjoy pleasures of bestowal specifically, not of reception. We, in our lives, also realize it, implement it. When we are born, we're little, and we enjoy our parents. We use them. Give me, bring me, do for me, etc. Until we get to the extent that we acquire independence, we also acquire, let's call it, certain detachment from the parents. And to that extent, we begin to understand what they did for us. And, and when we have our own kids, this is how we start relating to our kids on our next degree. And these are the Creator's actions on us to bring us to independence. And independence is acquired only when we are not in the quality of reception, but in the quality of bestowal. When we use our will to receive in order to bestow, meaning we receive from it, but in a way that by this we want to bestow upon it, and not that we contemplate bestowing upon ourselves and satisfying ourselves.